and it also moved the frame rails over. I'm just gonna hack it off right here just to get this out of my way. I have a Subaru Outback up here on the frame rack. It's clamped down to the rack and all the drivetrain is pulled out. This one got hit on this le uh, right side and drove all of this over, destroyed this whole apron piece. And it also moved the frame rails over and it caused a buckle in this frame rail right here. Once these frame rails on these modern vehicles buckle like this, there's no way to fix it. So this is going to get a new frame rail section and they actually have a section procedure to section it in right here. And then I'm also gonna be replacing all of the structure basically on this side. So I have all my new parts kind of piled up right here. I won't go through them all right now. I am first gonna go ahead and get our measuring system out, and I'm gonna measure this frame, see where everything's at, and then I'll make a few poles to pull all the damage out, get everything squared up before I start cutting it apart. Now I have a bunch of different attachments here for the measuring system and I have to first match the measuring system to the vehicle. So I go to five points in the center section of the vehicle and then I'll match it to the vehicle then it'll know where all these front points are supposed to be. Now the measuring system is all matched to the vehicle so it knows where my points are supposed to be in the front end. So then I will put my ram on here and I'll know where to pull everything to to get it squared up before I start cutting it apart. So I got this front end all squared up. Everything's measuring out nice now. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this apart. I'm gonna start with this outer piece, get that cut off, then I'll start working my way in.
So as I've gotten into this, I decided I'm gonna, instead of sectioning this frame rail like I was planning, I'm gonna put the whole frame rail in. I didn't realize how crushed this was right here. And that, if I section it, that won't be getting replaced. So that'll be a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the full frame rail in. I'm just gonna hack it off right here just to get this out of my way. And then I'll start trimming back here and get the rest of it off. So I have this frame rail sitting in place. It should be sitting very close to where it's supposed to be. I went ahead and bolted the reinforcement bar on. In the morning, I will go ahead and I'll get our measuring system back out and I'll make some measurements on this frame rail, make sure I have it sitting exactly where it's supposed to be, and then I will get it welded in and then I will start on this, the rest of this apron structure here. So this one is measuring out perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get this rail all welded in and then I will get into this other structure out here.
So I just about have all the structure fit together on this one. I'm gonna make some comparison measurements. Right now I'm checking the length. Move it over here. And that's dead on. Now I'm gonna do an X. And this is gonna make sure that it's square. Now I am also going to go ahead and sit this fender on to make sure it lines up down here properly. This one's fitting together very nice. My fender lines up good, meets up with the holes here perfectly. The hood has a nice even gap. So I'm going to lift this fender back off and go ahead and get all of this welded in. So I have some 3M cavity wax here. And I'm gonna hose this, this sprays in a 360 degree pattern. And I'm gonna hose this and it'll seep in all the channels where, any, where there's any bare metal on the inside of the frame rail. <laughs> 